let's jump into the current situation. There's obviously a lot going on right now. Um, so I'd love to hear from, from all of you guys and we can kind of do the same rotation to our, and this, specifically this question for AJ and, and, and Tim, are you guys currently investing with COVID going on? Right. And then what have you seen as far as the industry in general, um, as far as VC funding, angel funding, some of your portfolio companies, are they struggling to raise right now or, you know, where should people be looking if they're trying to raise money right now? What are the different strategies people should be doing? How should they be reaching out to investors? So one being, are you guys actively investing and what are you kind of doing as like your individual firms? And then two, maybe an overall picture as to what you've seen in the investing industry itself. And then Josh, I'd love for you to talk about, I know you spoke of this at the beginning, but maybe you can go into it a little bit too as to what you're seeing from, you know, the grant and, and government side too, for people who came in a little bit late. Sure. Start with AJ. So we, we are actively investing. Um, that's kind of the headline. Um, I, uh, we're participating um, in a deal that we gave the green light to like a week and a half ago. And I'm about to put out a term sheet um, in the next day or two um, on a different deal. So we're definitely actively investing. Um, but I will say that the shift of our focus for the moment in terms of looking at new deals or looking with the existing portfolio has definitely shifted a bit to existing portfolio because our existing portfolio has just needed our help a lot um, over, the past, right. uh, over the past couple of weeks. Um, if you had asked me this question a month and a half ago, I would have said, you know, stuff is really tough out there. We are actually investing. We wouldn't have yet done a new term sheet or put out another check. Um, at that point, um, but that for the most part, um, people were kind of hunkering into their own portfolios and reserving capital um, to assist their companies that didn't have access to capital outside of the existing insiders. And I would say like at least 70% of what we've done um, over the past two months or so has been focused on um, investments into companies that are already in our portfolio. Gotcha. Okay. Tim, well, how about you? Um, I think that, uh, I mean, it, uh, I mean, obviously AJ is, is, is doing this. I think that every venture capitalist is saying like, we're open for business and we're doing new deals. But I think the reality is, is that like everyone is definitely like the pace of investing is definitely slowed down. Um, for, for several reasons. One, the one is mainly what AJ said that like, you know, we're in a whole new world. Like basically every company, every founder, globally right now needs to reevaluate the product market fit, right? Like we're in a new world temporarily and probably in a different world forever. And um, some business models and some products are just gonna be way more relevant, way less relevant. So like there's been a lot of work. I think a good seed investors are basically experts in achieving, helping people achieve product market fit. So like we're doing a ton of work around that. Some companies were just like, we're gonna, like a lot of, I mean, I've had more board meetings in the last, month than i probably had in a year prior honestly and like you know, um yeah and you know around you know everything from pvp to like just like you know we're fucked what are we going to do um you know layoffs it's just it, it's an endless amount of portfolio work you know the average venture capitalist is on like five to ten boards i'm on seven boards seven eight boards right now so it's a lot of work um doing that stuff but yeah, you I mean I'm doing? It, I, I'm still like I'm not sure. I'd love to hear. I'd love to do a. Can we do a poll? Does, does this poll thing work? Um, yeah, yeah, we can do a you poll right now. Set it up, or do I do it? But like, so I'm today Bring doing my up. first post-COVID in-person entrepreneur meeting. Like I'm. A, I want to. Yeah, I want to get a term. I know that's. I, I mean, if people hate me for this, I, I just want to get a sense because I'm thinking of deciding whether or not I should tweet about this. So we're we're going to meet in a park. Good. We're going to both wear a mask and we're going to stay oh, six good. feet apart from each other. You know, so it's yeah, socially distant. We both live What's five the... minute walk from this park. Yeah. And so we're going to meet Great. there, wear masks and stay six feet apart. But like we generally don't like to invest without meeting the founder. And so I'm going to do it. Yeah. And, um, What's the what's the question that like the and, like that you like run? what are your views on that like if I tweet about that or am I going to get hated on or are people going to be like that's cool or like 
I think most people are going to be like, this is irresponsible and you're like killing babies and like stay home. Um, I'm just not sure. Or people will be like, wow, okay, like that makes sense. It's, this is the new world. Um, to I, don't me, know. I don't know how, how I would overcome like my personal anxiety of like leaving these four walls except directly <laughs> in the parking garage in my apartment. Building. I'll be honest with you. I'm so excited to like leave my house and meet a human being and talk about you know business yeah. in person instead of these zoom things um i like can't wait um but yeah i mean I, yeah yeah, it, just, yeah so I, don't I, I agree with you but it's like, a, like I, I just put up the poll okay. real quick i just threw up if you guys go to the pools tab what i put was are you okay with people meeting in person if they wear masks and say six feet apart yeah. so let's see we'll see what people say Everybody i mean yes, so far the one I mean, right now it's 50-50, so we'll see. Uh, please go over to the polls tab and vote on that so we can uh, see. Kidding. I just don't want to get, I mean, like, I've gotten, I, I like, so viscerated on yeah. Twitter from, like, Bill Gurley and stuff for, like, various topics, and I just, I don't like getting, like, pummeled on Twitter, and I'm afraid if I, like, post a picture of a socially distant entrepreneur meeting, I'm going to just, people are just going to, like, destroy me, so um so i'm just trying to this is like a, a, a large enough audience that i'm open about it but and i can get some data but small enough that you know there's not too much repercussions so we have a couple people asking where do you live what state are you in and what i city? live in san francisco and um okay. san francisco has actually been the best city for they honestly they've done the best job out of anyone uh in my opinion at least so we have 21 yes it's okay eight no so yeah, far we'll keep, we'll keep thanks going. guys i really appreciate this. this is a great like real time uh, <laughs> kind of uh reality check to like how people are feeling about this sort of thing and this is the community i care about right like sure i'm gonna get a lot of random people mad but like entrepreneurs that were looking for funding those are the people i care about most in the world um other than my my lps um so yeah that's actually the, the lps are a whole different you know issue like we, we we you know we're in the middle of um you know of a fund right and um we're in the middle of all these discussions with large institutions and so you know we can sort of sympathize and empathize with what's going on in the founder community um suffering in the same way that a lot of our investors want to meet with us um, but can't and we're sort of trying to figure out how to do that in a way that's you know consistent with the reality that we're in now. 